Hey everybody, this is Dr. Eli. I'm talking about um, uh, acute jaw and muscle sprain, strain injury. Um, this is a new terminology that we are uh, applying to the field of dentistry. Um, many of you, including myself, when I went through dental training had no experience and actually no specific training on mouth opening, the limits of mouth opening, jaw joint mobility, the limits of jaw joint mobility, and therefore we didn't really get any training on muscle and joint sprain strain injuries. Well, as an expert in this field, what I found through the 25 plus years I've been treating patients, that patients who experience joint sprain strain injury or muscle sprain strain injury during a dental visit often will call the office and they're typically told, well, don't worry about it, it will clear up, take some anti-inflammatory. But the patient is not seen and no documentation is made. This is a real problem because some data would suggest that patients with this type of injury untreated and unmanaged within the first four weeks will develop a long-term muscle problem and be more inclined to have that symptomatology up to five years later. So again, I understand that most people didn't get this training. Um, I didn't get that training when I was in general dental uh, training and dental school. And so, specifically, JAMS, jaw and muscle sprain strain, is a concept that we have come up with in order to try and educate the population and the professional population about it. Protocol known as speed to treat is what we've developed in order to help doctors and their patients know better what to do and um, we look forward to your input on using the speed to treat protocol for jaw and muscle sprain strain injuries. Thanks.